Hi, today I'll be talking to you about an exciting new capability Google Cloud has developed called Apigee Adapter for Envoy. The goal of Apigee Adapter for Envoy is to help you integrate Envoy-based services into your Apigee environment. This means you could do things like publish your services as APIs, make them visible to other developers, add governance capabilities to control access to those APIs, and analyze usage metrics to see how your APIs are being consumed. Let's talk a little bit more about how we do this. Behind the scenes, Apigee Adapter for Envoy uses Envoy's external authorization filter, which is designed to allow Envoy to delegate authorization decisions to an external system. In this demo, I'll show you how to use Envoy to protect an endpoint. I'll add an Envoy facade on it, which is configured to talk to the Apigee adapter for Envoy. Let's dive in. I have an API product, which in Apigee is the subscription point or what consumers subscribe to. To begin with, I have nothing configured in this API product. The first step is to bind the endpoint httpbin.org to the API product. With this command I've just entered, we have provided a CLI, which allows you to add the endpoint httpbin.org to the product httpbin. When I refresh my page, you'll see the endpoint is bound to the API product httpbin. Now we can turn our attention to the components that are going to run on my workstation. I'll start with Analytics, which is shipped by Apigee. It gathers metrics from Envoy that measures the consumption of the APIs, such as the number of successes, who's been invoking APIs, etc. I'm entering a simple script that starts the analytics component of the adapter. And the analytics component is now running. The next component I'm going to start is Envoy itself. Before I start Envoy, I want to highlight two pieces in the configuration, the prefix and how it handles requests. I'll be matching the prefix HTTP bin. I'm configuring it such that all requests will pass through the Envoy proxy and go to the Apigee adapter. The adapter will determine whether the consumer has access or not and will reject those that don't have access. Let's go ahead and start Envoy. So now I have the analytics and Envoy components started. The last component that I need to start is the Apigee adapter for Envoy itself. This is what advises Envoy whether to allow or deny a call. And for that, I've got a script here. Now all three components are running. Let's try and access the API endpoint get. Because I don't have a token, it didn't work and the call was rejected. Let me go and get the token from Apigee. Once I have the token, I'll rerun the command to access the API endpoint, this time by passing the token as a parameter. And this time around, I'm able to access the API endpoint. Now let's take a look at what was in that token. It has the audience, remote service client. It also indicates which products the consumer can access. In this case, that's the product HTTP bin. These elements were then enforced by Envoy. What I just showed you is how an API consumer would access this endpoint. Another way this could be done is by publishing this endpoint and a product on an API portal. When developers come to the API portal, they can view and access their APIs. The API portal also allows developers to grab credentials for their HTTP bin product. The credentials are masked here for security purposes. Once developers get their credentials, they can access the API like I showed earlier. Through all these interactions, analytics are being collected and transmitted to the Apigee control panel. Looking at API metrics here, you'll notice that httpbin.org is getting requests and I can view the data for that. This is how you can use the Apigee adapter for Envoy to enforce policies for any service that's using Envoy. Now that you know how it works and what it does, let me talk to you about how to start using the Apigee adapter for Envoy. The easiest way to get started is from our docs page, which I've linked in the description for this video. That's where we've outlined three examples that you can follow to get started. Native Envoy with Apigee Edge for public cloud, Istio Sidecar with Apigee Hybrid, and Native Envoy with Apigee for private cloud. 
The Apogee adapter for Envoy can also be used by anyone who uses Istio or Google Anthos Service Mesh. To get started with those, get in touch with your Google Cloud account team. In summary, the Apogee adapter for Envoy gives you an easy way to plug API management capabilities such as publishing, visibility, governance, and usage analytics into those services that require them. Links to more information like code labs and blog posts are in the description below. And be sure to check out our other videos and let us know what else you'd like to learn about Apogee.